What's up, guys? This boy here, FG7 here. I'm back. It's only been like a couple hours. I just took a little break, you know. But yeah, we're back. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank you. Oh no, Nathan Prescott. Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. David Madsen doesn't need another excuse to harass students here. Max, this isn't about personalities. This is about protecting civil rights and our school's legacy of freedom. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not huh. fear and violence. You know a lot about Blackwell for being the science teacher. Science is history, Max. And I have a secret wish to teach local lore and legends. There's a lot of unique facts about this you might really enjoy discovering. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Yes, miss. Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Okay. This action will have consequences. Man, what you mean consequences, bro? We out here fucking... That guy's weird, bro. He's sus. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. That guy's tripping, dude, bro. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with the Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. All right, Dick. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. Thought it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Alright, Dick. Hey, 
Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Not really. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many cons... Brooke actually has a drone? Hi, uh, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello? Sorry, running late and saying, do you? I'll meet you in a lot. Looking cool, you see. My car will be ready, so you surely hope so. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That right, was a dorm. See what I mean? Like, I gotta look around, I gotta complete things. I wonder if I could go down there. I could go for a burger now. Oh, this Yo, is like skater dudes? Check out the max. Come to thrash? Oh, yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh, jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, just check out the mag. I came to nose slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tray flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Oh. Ow. oh. Yikes. Oh, <laughs> yikes. Am I really gonna take a picture of this guy in pain, dude? to do it in the other one. Yo, Justin. Check out the map. I came to host. Nah. Oh, check. I'd love to see a nose slide. Let's get Trevor all over that action. Hey. That's cool. Like I said, I'm gonna be taking my time, you know, I'm just like talking to everybody. Daniel is always drawing something. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? Ah, that's I do put weird. my sketches on Facebook, though. Thank you, dude. honor, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse, Rachel Amber. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. 
She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Yeah, this guy's fucking uh, weird. She had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute, Muse. Okay. Oh, that's a good weird. posture. <laughs> Draw me like your French, <laughs> your French lady. <laughs> it's funny. Good. Good. Very good. This guy's fucking weird, man. No cap. Oh, look, it's a drone. That's Best cool. portrait ever. That was fast. This action wild Thanks, consequences. Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. What the fuck? How's that supposed to do consequences, bro? Dormitories. Photo album. Let's talk hey, to Evan. boy. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous fallen soldier? I don't know, bro. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. Oh, well, really? That's no. why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Well, that's right. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Damn, it's Rachel Amber. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like Mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Alright, well, I think that's it for today. Well, hey, who's this? Luke and graffiti. Let me take a picture of the graffiti. Uh, what? Clever. Vortex Club sucks, or...? Uh, hello? Let's talk to Max, Luke. I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Not really, I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. Nope, he's just an entitled dick with a lot of money. Not my type. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. The reason why I didn't say I busted him was just, I'm not trying to have that shit on my... It's already bad enough, the president, you know? The president's, like, on his ass or whatever. Like, he's gonna talk to him, so Nathan Prescott's gonna know the... And I was, I was fucking around and like snitched on him. But yeah, like this game, it's very chill, you know, like I don't expect people to watch this. Because I'm going to be like communicating with every single person I can or checking everything out, every detail, so. I need to go to my room yeah. and return Warren's flash drive. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. That's pretty cool though. Yeah. No, bro. You can't take a picture. You gotta wait till Friday's game. All right, bitch. Oh, look, it's that girl, the sad one. Let me go talk to her. Hi, Kate. Hey, Max. How did you like class today? I don't remember. I guess I don't care about much of anything today. Is there anything 
Max, I'd like to be alone, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. Awesome. Seriously, Max, I don't want to talk. Hi, Kate. <laughs> you look down. You okay? I'm kind of over humanity today. Nice, bro. Sorry to be a drama queen. Is there anything... Max, I'd like to be a... There's Kate, looking sadder than usual. Glad to see our campus is eco-friendly. <laughs> Max, get a clue. All right, bitch, I'm leaving. Howdy, Samuel. Well, hello there. Okay. What's up with these Rachel Amber posters? Well, only she would know that, right? Uh, I guess. It just makes the campus look sad. You can't color over that sunlight. What was she like? She must have been popular. Nice. Even sunlight can cast shadows. Rachel did both at once, you know. She was like a battery. Positive and negative. What do you think happened to her? Best not to dwell on the past. Samuel looks forward. Like a clock. Okay. You knew Rachel? How can you know a prison? You just stare in awe. Now I have to go paint windows. See you later, Samuel. And watch your step around here, Max. After I sweep, I paint. Nice, bro. Yeah, that's not got issues, bro. What's up with everybody being sus in this fucking campus, bro? Fuck, man. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. Okay. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> yeah. Some people being fucking dicks, bro. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. I don't get oh, it wait. though. Like, why can't you move around? Oh, that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. What the fuck, that girl? I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I could crank the sprinkler up and give Victoria and her clones incentive to beat it. Huh. Well, I guess we're gonna crack it up. What the hell? Are you kidding? Nice. Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Was that it? She looks like a pissed off wet cat, and she's still stylish. Okay. Nice, bro. Hmm. Dude. I don't get what's supposed to happen right now. No. Let's see, what does that say? Indians go home. Damn, bro, this place is fucking racist, bro. There's only one way around this.
can't grab that. Samuel is way too close. Okay, right, cool. let's see if this works. I'm assuming the paint's gonna fall. Ah, uh -huh. wobbly gobbly. <laughs> That's my homie's new word that he says all the time. So I've been kind of been stealing it a bit. But yeah, I hope everybody's doing great. You know, everybody, you know, if you guys are enjoying this, please hit the like button, and subscribe if you guys are new. Like I said, man, we're gonna be trying to bust out double uploads, maybe triple uploads every day. You know, this game, I played it before, but it's been three years, so I don't know. We'll see. My videos are going to be like 30 minutes long, maybe 40 minutes long. I don't want them too long or too short either. You know, we have a lot of time, and you know. Oh! Close, but no cigar. They have to be right under the bucket. Okay, let's see if this works. Shall pass. Victoria is not getting the hint. Nice, Remember when they're like standing up? So maybe I gotta turn on the water again. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, no. water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look... Great. I can't even chill on the steps. Uh -huh. Let's go. We did it, boys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No way. No oh. fucking way. Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, we're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the oh. hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Exactly. Man, like, I don't get why people are so stuck up, man. Once you get it out of college, you know, I mean, high school into college, no one cares, bro. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Do I want to make fun of her or do I want to comfort her? You know, maybe if I get in her good side. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. No. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. Au revoir. Something like buy or something. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find Warren. Man, I don't care, man. I ain't about like making fun of people and all that, you know? Like, just like, you know, like it, dude. If you don't like me, if I don't like you, who cares, bro? Is this a Vortex Club or a Victoria Club initiation? Taylor's a Truly slave. pathetic. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. I'd love to make a photo collage of every... Man, people here are merciless. See Kate's video to for proof down. Julie, I read this week's edition of the Blackwell to uh, seriously... Who Juliet, extreme reporter. As if. No boys allowed. Oh, this is the girl dorm, yeah. Oh. Like I said, I'm just looking at fun. everything. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. 
Thanks for the warning. Hmm. TP, like bro. Won this TP <clears throat> war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Yo, what the fuck, man? This shit's valuable, bro. Who know, dude? 2020 TP would be fucking crazy, bro. At least that's an alarm from this century. Yo, y'all are wasting TP, bro. We're gonna need that shit in fucking 2020, my G's. Like, what the fuck? It's crazy. How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. Oh, she has to give, um... I always wanted to be in a dorm. It's one experience I don't have. Home I'm, sweet I'm, home. My favorite cocoon. I'm gonna be able to experience that once, you know? Hopefully I move out eventually. Oh, she plays guitar. Nice. I'm trying to skip just because, you know? That can be. Let's admire this. Dun 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 But yeah, I, I want to eventually move out. Hopefully in like two years or so. Even if it means like moving in with my homies, you know, having roommates when I'm like 23 or so, you know? I don't know, just like, something that I've always wanted to do. Happy birthday, Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told him some Todd tells about a black honor student. Is that true? The principal said it was a serious false charge and that he's worried you're telling stories. Call me ASAP so we can talk about this. Man, I knew I should. See, note to self, bro. Just keep your ass quiet, bro. It's not exactly pretty and pink, but no shits are given. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Oh yeah, selfie. Beep. Like I said, this game, in the past, I used to just like hit it real quick. I mean, at that point, I wasn't checking everything, but here, I want to check as much as I can, and that's why like, some videos are going to be longer, and I'm sorry, guys. Turn off. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. <laughs> bonded forever. So cheesy, but it makes me smile. Th <sighs> Max and Chloe. Best Max friends forever. And Chloe. Who even says that anymore? Who's Chloe? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The, the longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Do we have Chloe in our contacts? Uh, no. No Chloe. Cartier Bresson, do I know? Hamilton? That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Kristen Troll. Kristen and Fernando. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Who? Oh, Dana? Dana? Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Oh, she took Dana, it. I am so... Lauren makes me laugh. Camera report. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Thanks for email. Copy of Jefferson's costumes. Now she wants to stop sending us. Just go to her. This guy straight up fucking likes her. You are That's thirsty. So I'm the worst baby mama. <laughs> the Drink worst up. baby mama. I got a plant too. I like plants. This action will have consequences. What do you mean it's gonna have consequences? I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking I literally just watered my fucking plant, you fucking asshole. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. Alright. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. 
I gotta go get my fucking flash drive from. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Okay. Is that where I'm supposed to go? Fuck. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Oh, Victoria, give me a fucking break. You are ridiculous. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked you know Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Yeah. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Patson. Juliet Pats. Juliet Patson. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max uh, Caulfield. I was in North Watson. By the way, Juliet Watson. Alright, let me... Fucking go hey, back. Julia. Oh yes, Mac. Let me out, Juliet. This is so stupid. Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Uh, of course I do. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. Would Dana do that? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria. Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Yeah, I guess we're going to Victoria's room. Man, this is why you gotta, like, you can't trust other girls, bro. I mean, honestly, girls are complicated. That's what I've learned. Apparently, that's what my, my sister says, man, like. Girls are just complicated, bro. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Why you hating, bro? Let's not hate. Look, man, just because we don't got what other people got, dude, don't mean we gotta hate. Speaking of selfies, let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Oh. Oh! A pattern is emerging. You know, that's that's where it called me a bitch. I, I, see, I was being passive. Ah, oh, man, that's just me not being passive aggressive, bro. Yikes. You know what, fuck it, dude. We gotta live and learn, bro. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Damn. Maybe I will join her posse. Too bad we just fucked that up right now. You know, maybe we like... Man, what if we become homegirls with her, you know? Look, we already took the pictures, so we got the objective. That's fine, bro. We already took the picture and all that. Let's just, you know? They should call this series aloof. Cold uh, and soulless. Kind of like uh, Victoria. Uh, I'll give Victoria props for not posting my phone. And for this nice shot. Boom. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. So sad to inform that I totally punked Juliet and Dana just now. All I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumbass, believe me, and so I expect her to, to be a doormat. But so just Julia deserves this for slutting Zach away from me. Who gives a shit? Get out your popcorn. Damn. Then we got a printer. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much. Who cares? How insecure. Damn, bro. That's just like she literally. Victoria went is a real Jefferson Brupy. All right, how do we uh, print it? There we go. All right. Wait, where'd it go? There we go. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. That better, bro. 
You know, I gotta make sure, like, I I don't want to seem like an asshole. See, I was being passive-aggressive there, you know, I gave her the middle finger, you know? Alright, now this bitch gotta understand. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I Yikes. owe you dinner. That's toxic. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Yikes. Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Yikes, dude. That's some toxic shit right there, boys. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Shit happens, bro. Victoria's not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, what? you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yikes. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. Okay. Uh, there's nothing here that like really catches my eyes, so must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. Okay. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self respect. Uh... Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. Uh, and okay, yes, so. Max, so terribly wrong. She's right this there, This is both though. sad and pathetic. Dana, it's like I write about that. I should write this too, so... So you might not hate my dumbass friend. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never had to act around you. I'm not that kind of... You saw a, p a pussed out. If you need any money, let, let me know, Logan. Money? Jesus, bro. These guys don't know how to fucking talk to females, bro. I mean, I ain't saying I'm a fucking genius at it either, but, you know, I don't mind waiting on for a little bit sparking. I can count all the cars. The more attacks, the longer I take on my way. Bye. All right, let's get the fuck out of here because Warren's out here fucking bitching. All right, where's he at? Let's see. Uh, where, where could he be? Fuck this shit. Oh, hey! That hurt. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Nice. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. That was close. Jock assholes. If I was a member of the Vortex Club, they'd never pull that. Would you want to be a member? You're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Thanks again. Let's talk later. Yeah. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Alright, dick. So like, why people gotta be assholes, bro? The Prescott dormitory? Good lord, Nathan's family owns my dorm? Yeah, that's crazy. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Take a photo? What the fuck is a photo gonna do? Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. 
Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Man, whatever, bro. What's up, bro? Pull up. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. Just out here trying to do, you know, my deeds, bro. I felt bro. like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Man, that's fine, bro. Maybe I should rewind and... No, no, no. Don't mind your own business, bro. Look, man. We're out here trying to fucking be a homie, all right? That's how I am, bro. If I see a homie out there getting fucked, bro, I'm going to pull up. And I'm going to do what's best for my homies, you know, because my homies got in my back. I don't want to say real life, but real life, dude, like, my homies have got my back so many times. So you best believe, like, I'm going to be there for my homies, you know. I'm going to try to grind. I'm going to try to, like, help them out in any type of possible way I can, you know. Because that's just me, you know. They need help. I'll try my best, you know. I'll do what I can. Damn. I mean, I miss this game, you know. Like, this game's great. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zach and Victoria do that to me? I don't Hi, know, Juliet. Girl. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Yeah, Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha what ha. What the fuck? I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. <laughs> he usually Juliet. does. See you around, Max. Uh, like I said, normally I'll just go up to Warren and, you know, get it started, but we're gonna fucking check it I out. I better go there soon to see if Joyce is still there. And get a burger. Cars Good thing I don't there. have a car. Yet. Cars Who toilet either. paper's a bike? Bro, why the toilet paper, man? Ah, shit, man. Man, fucking rolls are expensive right now, dude. What are y'all doing, bro? It's 2020, bro. We need the fucking TP. No manches, bro. Dude, these posters are everywhere. The whole town is turning into one giant missing persons poster. Uh-huh. That's a nice truck, bro. Now, this really pisses me off. So entitled. Yeah. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. That's right. Oh, a 4x4. Four four. Got myself a truck. In my truck. Oh, nice. Look, it's RV. That layer of dust is begging for my finger. If I could do it, it's just dust. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. Exactly. I'm so dirty. Alright, how well, what the fuck's gonna happen I if I leave this like this picture that? for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. Like, like who cares, bro? I'll just write you know, like everybody does that, bro. Like Nah, nah, it's a bossum, bro. See, look, I'm, I'm earning my trophies, bro. Let's get it. A new surveillance system. Cart that That's forward. how it starts. Huh. It's about to go off. Yo, Max, check it out. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the oh. wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. <laughs> I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would've known. You probably could've raised a I Kickstarter did. fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down sure my photo, the so was it? that uh, drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. 
<laughs> Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw. Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The movie booty on my flash drive? I've been busy. No, I've been way too busy with class. And life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, drama queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies <laughs> in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? I'm a sensitive so you're guy. So sensitive. I respect that. Ouch! Thing. That sounds awful the way you say it. Bastard pussy can't kill me, kill me. Nah, let's be nice to homie. Not at all. Sensitive is good, unless you're a pushover. Exactly. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. Oh, the right girl will too. Wet. He's if like, I was lucky. <sighs> Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Let's talk to homeboy. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Nah, fuck you, bro. Answer me, bitch. I told him the truth. Hey. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what, give you a stern lecture? Nobody, nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> They try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not oh, analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Dude, this guy's aggressive. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Oh, shit! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to oh, do! What not my parents, fuck? not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! I got this! Oh, hey, Max. shit. Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody hey, wasn't this the, the truck? Nobody! Damn, bro. Oh. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. And dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. Do we save so our life? What a freak want with you. I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Seattle? No way. Huh. If you remember, all right, go watch Life is Strange 2. If you know what I mean about Seattle, you know what I'm talking about. I Not guess. For son. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of the <sighs> week. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still <laughs> a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. 
course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Basically. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Damn. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Damn, bro, why is this girl being fucking hard on us, bro? Jesus. Hey, she's got it. Look at her, bro. The tattoos, the blue hair. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific, tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage, and he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. Hmm. And that's where we're gonna end the boys and girls of episode two, Life is Strange One. Hope hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a little bit longer. Like I said, these videos are gonna be long just because you know your boy's gonna be looking at every detail possible he can look at, take pictures, redesign things, go back, you know, just a lot of things like that. If you guys are enjoying it, please let me know down below. I'd really appreciate a like. You know, if you guys like this video, it shows me that you know you guys are actually enjoying the series, and I can continue. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna continue regardless. But I, I would really appreciate the support. At the end of the day, you know, like doing something that you like to do, you know, and someone can recognize what you're doing, you know, I'd really appreciate it. You know. Anyways, guys, I'll be back for episode three very shortly. Maybe not today, back to back. We're probably gonna have a double upload, and tomorrow we might bring you back with the two or three episodes. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed.